Wild scene that was caught on the police dash cam. You know, it started out as a routine traffic stop. You see it right there. Ended after a high speed chase with bullets flying. Driver under arrest, police under investigation. ABC's Aditi Roy has all the details. What starts out as a routine traffic stop on this New Mexico highway is about to get explosive. Go ahead and turn the vehicle off for me. In this dash cam video, the driver, 39 year old Oriana Farrell, disobeys, speeding away. After a half mile chase, the officer pulls her over again. Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle right now. This time he reaches into the minivan and tries to pull her out. You're already facing evading charges right now. You ran away from me. Finally, she gets out. Turn around and face your vehicle. Man, to me. But then changes her mind. Her 14 year old son gets out and scuffles with the officer before rushing back into the car. As backup arrives, Open the door! Open the door! things escalate. The officer smashing the side rear window with his baton. Farrell's five kids screaming inside, one as young as six. Farrell drives away again. Another officer fires three shots at the minivan. After a high-speed chase, Farrell gives up and she and her son are arrested. This morning, she's facing charges including child abuse, fleeing from authorities, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Her son charged with battery of an officer. According to her website, Farrell is a self-proclaimed mother, empowerment coach, and reporting artist. She also has a video blog giving advice to parents. You got to schedule one-on-one -on -one time. It's real simple. Her lawyer tells ABC well, News they have no comment. Sense. New Mexico State Police say all three officers in the video are under investigation, but won't comment further. For Good Morning America, Aditi Roy, ABC News, Los Angeles. Joined, as always, by ABC's Chief Legal Affairs anchor Dan Abrams, trying to make some sense out of this one. It spun out of control so quickly. Absolutely. And let's separate out the wrongdoing of both parties, right? You've got the mother and then you've got the police. Let's start with the mother. Uh, the mother's in legal trouble now because twice, she runs away from the authorities. And remember, the fact that she has five kids in the back both applies to the police and applies to her, which is what are you doing consistently running away from the police with five kids in the back of your minivan? So she's now charged with five counts of abuse of a child. She's charged with uh, resisting arrest, fleeing the scene, etc. Yet you see on the tape, you see that policeman just bashing okay. through the back window and then, of course, those shots fired. So that's point two, which is what the police did cannot be justified by what the mother did. There's got to be proportionality. And there is no reason that this police officer needed to A, start bashing in the window, or certainly B, start shooting at the car. Now, the police may say we were trying to shoot out the tires, whatever the case but may the be. But the police bashing in the window, he knows kids are in there. That's car. correct. That's correct. So, so I would be, I feel confident that there's going to be some level of administrative action taken against these police officers. But look, in the end, this is the case where I think everyone's going to want this to go away. This is going to end up in some sort of a plea, meaning the mother's attorney's got to say to her, look, technically you violated the law. You're going to be in trouble unless we come to an agreement here. From the police perspective, they're going to be putting, I think, pressure on the authority, on the prosecutors to say, look, we want to end this thing. We don't want this thing to go to trial with having this tape played again in, a, in courtroom. Okay, Dan Abrams, thanks very much. Right. Wild footage. Yeah, as always, we welcome our viewers to weigh in and let us know what you think about this as well.